Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com, also HardbachElectronics.com, 203-892-4119. We have another AL80B Ameritron in for repair. It came from an estate. It was sold as is, tech special. The original tube, the Amprex has like a little piece of metal inside of it, so it'll get a brand new Pentalab 3500ZG. Awesome company, great customer service. Has the old pink resistor, so I'll swap those out. First I'll make sure the caps are okay as the old phenolic type SO239s so I told him they, they have a good grip but he wants me to upgrade them one has a bad solder joint anyway but I'm going to swap those out it's cheap insurance I'll have the gas discharge tubes do all, do all the other modifications and show you everything when it's all done this wire is touching it's right hard up against the diode secondary lead coming off the plate transformer Okay, so I'm going to get to work, and I will see you guys soon. And this thing had uh, 20 amp fuses in it. It was supposed to have 10 amp fuses. Always check fuses before you turn something on. You always want to make sure it has the right size fuse, because having a fuse that's too big can cost uh, a lot of money in component damage. You know, if, you had a, if this guy had a tube that flashed or a filter cap that was shorted, he could have easily have taken out the plate transformer. I don't even know if it's good yet. I've, I have not turned this on yet. So I'm going to get to work and I will see you guys soon. Okay, I forgot that that it's wired for 240. That's why it needs the 10 amp fuses. And I'm going to ask him what he has for nominal line voltage. If it's above 240, closer to 245, I will adjust the buck boost taps here. Right now it's on the 241. I'll put it on the 245. Alright, so I will see you guys soon. Stay tuned. So I'm back with the completed amp. I'm going to do a quick video. already tested it on all bands. Sent the video to the customer. This thing needed so much work I figured I better do a video of it working for YouTube. <laughs> so this was a, like I said before, a estate buy, like a tech special type situation. So required a lot of stuff and I'm going to go over everything after I'm done with this video I'll take it apart and show you the inside so one last thing the Ford and I assume the reflect also meter isn't working I assume maybe the op amp on the board could be something else but the customer wants to stay within the budget he said he doesn't mind just using an external meter uh, it's not a quick thing to get that board out otherwise I would just do it so I have so many other amps to work on I have to test another amp later and make a run to FedEx to ship a bunch of stuff just a lot I'm just tired long day so anyway it's on 160 I have a 1 kit of you slug in the bird meter PP kit is on I'll show the frequency after and I will clean my bench this weekend it's becoming too much for even me audio hello audio hello 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 as you can see 1kw audio hello 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 audio hello hello audio hello hello audio hello 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 tit 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 as a used tube in here customer bought a new penta tube but he's having it drop shipped in audio hello 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 about 79 watts or so hello 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 works as it should I'll show you the frequency other than the watt meter Okay, so I'm going to shut it off, cool off for a second, shut it off, and I'll pop the cover and show you the inside. See you guys soon. Okay, so where should I start? I had tested two or three caps, and they were shorted. I didn't notice this at first. I just pulled them out, checked them. He had all, the person he got this from, or whoever worked on it before him, had all of the capacitors in backwards. The polarity was reversed. So I replaced all of the capacitors, all of the bleeder slash equalization resistors. The diodes for the 12 volt supply underneath this ribbon cable were all shorted. Replaced all those, replaced the electrolytic cap also. Cleaned out all the holes for the wire connections over here to strap it for 240 and the buck boost set to 245. So that's all set. Changed the soft start relay, the old ones right here, the, the uh, coil shorted. Changed the 10 ohm, 10 watt resistor, changed the SO239 connectors. Changed the plate transformer. This wire was chafed, 
shaved over here. So I cut it, soldered and heat shrunk it with the line wires. Tighten up on a bunch of hardware. Added the gas discharge tubes to the base of the socket, grounded the grid through to the metal, tightened up on a bunch of tank circuit hardware. The I don't even know where it went, but the padding cap for 160. It was like a ceramic type, arced and failed. So I put a 500 puff doorknob in. So that's good. Clean the rotary switches with deoxy gold. Clean the TR slash bias relay with deoxy gold. Replace the two amp slow blow fuse. And uh, I think that's about it. This was a lot of work. Started at let's say eight o'clock this morning. Didn't eat lunch. Had a snack. I'm starving. Now it's four thirty. So a lot of work. Here's the old transformer right here. Old capacitors, old resistors, old electrolytic, one of the old SO239s. Yes, I'm going to clean my bench. Yes, yes, yes. I have a mountain of boxes in the other room. So, you know, there are plenty of people out there that work on an amp maybe once a week, every couple weeks, or whatever, maybe two, three weeks. I work on a lot of amps here. I'm the only one that comes in here very careful with everything nothing gets scratched or damaged so and again I'm gonna say this again because there was one guy who made a comment I make these videos mainly for my customers because they like to see everything I did you know I could put it down on paper but you know a video is worth a million words and it's also to show people that need their amp fixed what should be done whether it's with me or someone else so these aren't how-to videos. I'm not instructing someone how to do something. It's this is dangerous work, and it's super easy to get killed or hurt bad, you know. So I don't recommend working on one unless you are certified to work on it. And again, the videos are more to uh, show my customers the work I did. I'll say it again, and to show people what you know they should expect when they send an amp into me or someone else. And also that my work is consistent and very thorough. So that's about it. So I have another, I have one of these I have to ship. Uh, I have to give, the, give this guy the final total. I have another AL80B in the box. I have 922 here in the box. 811Hs and 811s and, you know, the marriage on him. <laughs> well, there's a lot of stuff. But, um, so, on mine, I'm going to take a break. It's Friday. Um, I'm going to ship some amps tomorrow, but next week I will be back on it Monday. So, thanks for watching. Hope everyone has a great weekend. Sorry, I'm trying not to move the camera too much. I appreciate it. I appreciate everybody who makes uh, comments and for everyone that watches my videos. Please like, share, and subscribe. And check out my websites, amprepairguy.com and also harbachelectronics.com. As you can see, he marked the board negative, and I put those dots there, but he had the positive over here somewhere. I think I wiped it off. But, uh, so, thanks again. 73. On the positive for you. Right there. <laughs> And again, these are better resistors than the stock ones, than the pink or later black ones they used, 10 waters. Better type of resistor. Okay. Thanks again. Catch you all later.